Welcome back to the Cozy Rosie Crochet channel. Today I am sharing with you the details on how you can win one of two pairs of tickets for the Knitting and Stitching Show in London. I'm going to be sharing more information about my own stand at the Knitting and Stitching Show, what I've been doing to get up to this point, along with some sneak peeks and some nice pre-order discounts on my new products that are going to be launching at the Knitting and Stitching Show. So welcome back. It has been a while. It has been a very, very busy time and I don't normally film on a Friday, hence the crazy hair, the very casual outfit, not that I dress up normally, but you know what I mean. In case we haven't met before, my name is Fiona and I am the designer behind Cozy Rosie UK and this channel, Cozy Rosie Crochet. I predominantly make crochet patterns for beginners and improvers who want to learn as they stitch. Today, oh, it's a bit of a strange one to know where to start because it does feel like a long time since there's been any real kind of update on this channel. I think the last video I shared was just before going to the Summer Wool Festival where I was going to do some workshops and um, host, well, host some workshops there, had a lovely time. And then of course it was a Northeast Wool Show, which I absolutely love. It's different kind of people up there. They're very, very friendly and I had a wonderful time. I did teach a learn to crochet workshop there, which I'm hoping to do more of next year. But since, pretty much since the end of July up until now, today is, I don't know what the date is. It must be the 19th of September or the 18th, 18th, no, no, 19th, 20. Could be the 21st of September. I don't know. It's Friday. All I know is this time in three weeks, it will be day two of the knitting and stitching show. And I am having a stand for the first time at the London Knitting and Stitching Show in 2024. The event itself is being held at the Alexandra Palace, more commonly known as Ali Pali. And I was there last year hosting workshops, hosting a workshop. This year I'm hosting more workshops and I have my very own stand. Now, because I have my own stand, I do have a couple of pairs of tickets to give away and I'm going to be sharing some details as to how you can be in with a chance to win a pair of tickets to come along. We can meet in person, which will be wonderful. But even if you don't win, I do have a lovely discount code for you to purchase some tickets before those prices go up because those prices for the tickets rise on the 1st of October and I want you to nab a bargain. So I'm going to be giving you a very special discount code. The link to purchase your tickets and the discount code is in the description box there for you now so you can go and purchase your tickets and I will hopefully get to meet you. Now of course you're going to want to know what stand number I'm on and it would have been really good of me to remind myself what that was. I think I'm on stand number L27. Again in the description box I've put a link to my kind of profile on the Knitting and Stitching Show website so you can go and check out my exact stand number and I'll pop it in the description box for you as well. I want to take a moment first and foremost to say thank you to you for being a subscriber for and if you're not hit that button um, for being a subscriber and cheering me on all the way you've everybody has had a little bit of a dedication in one of my products because without being able to share my designs with people I wouldn't be able to move on in my business and produce these products so let me give you well let me show you the first oh I don't know I'm so excited to share this I'm gonna grab it so last year my very good friend Bernadine of me and my hook published her first book and of course it piqued my interest I, I would love to be a published author so I'm gonna be you may well be very familiar with my ever popular hodgepodge blanket well I have I suppose immortalized it is the word I've been using in a publication now this is showing us back to front of me. I hope this is going the right way for you. Uh, it's got every single square that featured in the event, all 30 of the hodgepodge blanket squares. It's got that lovely zigzag edging in there with lots of details of how to do it. And of course my favorite square of all time. And there is, I mean, there's, it's, it's a big book. It's 70, 71 pages long. So this is officially publishing on the 10th of October as the first day it's going to go on sale. So it's currently on pre-sale alongside two other books, In For A Penny, In For A Pound. I thought it'd be a great idea for the show to 
gather my best sellers, my most popular patterns so that I can reach more people to share my love of crochet and they can access what I think are some great patterns. As I said, this book is 70, 71 pages long. I'm also going to be publishing the Jolly Holiday Blanket, which was my Christmas crochet along last year. That has also been formatted into a book and it's literally just been sent to the printers. They will arrive, I think, next Monday or next Tuesday. That's going to be a whole 88 pages long. There are 18 different filet crochet blanket panels that you can use to create your very own holiday blanket based on the uh, celebrations that you have during the holiday period and all those lovely little elements of the holidays as well. That's alongside the hodgepodge blanket. They're my two favourite blanket patterns that I have and I'm very excited for them both to go into print. I've also gathered together my most popular tea cosy patterns mainly because I love them and they continue to be my absolute best sellers, more so than the HodgePodge blanket, the Running Rings Tea Cozy that I think I launched way back in 2020. Features the granny stitch, beautiful pattern that's now in a publication as well. Again, both those other books will be launching on the 10th of October, but they're all available for pre-sale. Now I'm very conscious that not everybody can make their way to London. It's not the easiest place to get to, even for me. I mean, it's quicker for me to drive than it is to get a train, which is madness because of the local, you have to, I, because where I am, I have to go into central London and come back out again to get to that part of London. But to drive, it's pretty much a straight road. Now, obviously I'm gonna be at the show before the show to set up and to load out as well. The show runs, um, the first day of the show is Thursday the 10th of October, and I believe it opens at 10 a.m. That is the busiest day of the show because it opens its doors to all the local schools, communities, art colleges, they all come along as well. And it's just such a wonderful show. It can be a bit overwhelming. So if you find big crowds a bit much to handle, I would recommend looking at the Sunday. That is generally the quieter day of the show and you'll be able to just enjoy the show a little bit more. As you can imagine, it's taken quite a lot to get from my normal pattern formation into an A4 sized book. So there's been lots of moving images around and picking my favourites to kind of showcase them. Always love the corner to corner square. Oh, but alongside those three books, there's one other book that I'm not going to share with you just yet. It's not yet gone to print and I've just got to make sure I make it to the deadline to get it printed in time as well. I've also, well, it, depending on how long you've been following me, you may not even be aware of one of these patterns that I have. Did you see that there? My, my dream of moving into what I'm doing now was in place kind of when we were coming back out of lockdown in 2020 and I was doing fairs but I was taking some patterns along with me and one of the things that I created and developed was a pattern for the holidays that could be made into a crochet kit. When I think back to how that kit was formated, formulated, I don't even know what, what the word is, when I think back to how I first ever packaged that pattern it's come a long way since then, shall we say. I believe it involved, you know, the little plastic card envelopes. Everything was tucked into one of those. Um, and we've come a long way. That's all I can say. I'm still using the same photography because I still love the photo that I took. But the it's going to be a bit of a show exclusive if it is really popular because I want to expand it into two other patterns that are launching in the new book. But I'm really excited. This is the brand new updated for 2024 Terry the Tree crochet kit. Inside here is everything you need to create both colors of Terry the Tree and both the stars. It's got the, um, it's got the safety eyes, your smile, your trunk, everything is inside. It's very beautifully packaged. It has a, an exclusive, it's, <laughs> One of my favourite illustrators lives very local to me and she has illustrated me a Terry the Tree and there is a sticker inside that holds everything all together. This is quite a high value product for me. It's one of, I'm hoping, going to be my best seller at the Knitting and Stitching Show because it is super, super cute. It's great for a gift and it's really kind of, oh, it's just beautiful. It really is absolutely beautiful with everything. It tells you everything that's in it. It's all well sealed, well packaged. 
everything that comes in the kit it has two balls of rico creative cotton aran um, and then you get your little amount of stuffing which is more than enough for two trees you get your safety eyes a needle some yarn to do the smiles you get some trunk some stars and one of my favourite crochet hooks, the Knit Pro 4mm hook to make everything with. These kits have been a bit of a labour of love, but these have taken me quite a while. I have had help because I got to the point where everything was just taking a little bit too long and I needed help. These didn't take very long at all. They've got their safety eyes, got the backs of the eyes, a needle and two lengths of red yarn, like the red acrylic to make the smiles because it looks better in personally these were great fun <laughs> i have to really give a special mention to julie who i work with at hobbycraft she's become such a huge help to me over the last kind of month where she's been coming around we have like our little wednesday afternoons and we have coffee and crochet well she has tea actually she has tea i have um, coffee we have a bit of cake and we talk about crochet I cannot tell you how much this woman has done for me. She has helped me pack these yellow and brown yarns. She's helped me pack the stuffing. She has made multiple projects for me to have on my stand to showcase my projects. And I just can't thank her enough. There is something special on its way, but she doesn't know about that. So hopefully she doesn't watch this too quickly. And I, one of the biggest things, so one of the biggest things that have come out of me doing this is... I don't want to say pride because I think isn't pride a sin but I do feel incredibly proud of myself but I'm more in love with or enamoured by the sense of community. One of the other things I've been doing is I've been working with my fibre arts friends group if you're not familiar with them that's the kind of knit and natter would be the equivalent like my little group that I get together with um, now twice a month we've had to increase it because it's just too much fun so twice a month we get together and we stitch or there's people embroidering or sewing and knitting and all these kind of things but quite a lot of them crochet as well so they've all very kindly been making for me um, they've made loads of my um, running rings bauble they have made me stockings a couple of gingerbreads we've got reindeers all these kind of things and they're all going to be on display on my stand at the Knitting and Stitching Show. And I'm so proud to be able to display those items that they've kindly made for me so that I can showcase my patterns. It means so much to me when someone makes one of my patterns. But for them to give up their fun crochet time for something they want to make, to make something for me to make a display, just blows my little mind. It really does. So... I have been very emotional <laughs> these last few, kind of last week, when I was writing the acknowledgements, where are they, for the HodgePodge book. It was the first time I had to write, you know, my thanks and my gratitude. And I got so emotional. There's a little, even last night at the Fibre Arts group, someone read the acknowledgements and she was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. And I thought about what I'd written because there's a little bit about my husband. I'm going to get choked up now. There's a little bit that I've written saying thank you to my husband for all of this. Oh, I'm going to cry again. Oh, because obviously, well, he's not here right now. He's away um, at the moment. He is back on Monday. Um, he's not seen the state of my house. I'll come to that in a moment. Um, or state of our house, should I say. <laughs> it's not here, it's mine. Um, but I'm so eternally grateful to him for his support and my parents' support, of course. But it's a whole different ball game living with someone who's trying to do something this big. This feels huge to me. It's going to be my first show. I've done craft fairs, but the longest craft fair I've done, and I mean big craft fairs, you know, expensive craft fairs, and they were successful, but it was post-COVID. It wasn't quite what I was hoping, the results. But to do a four-day show it has it's been a lot and I'm tired I'm running I think a little bit on adrenaline and trying so hard not to stop I'm resting when I can but I'm not I'm not stopping to the point where I'm doing nothing because if I do that I don't know if I'll start again I've only got what two and a half more weeks everything will be running will be set up will be going 
and after that I might take a little bit of time off but for now my husband has been a bigger support than he realizes I think but as I've mentioned he hasn't seen what is currently in our house so he's been away I don't know when he went away actually probably the end of August start of September and it's now mid-September so since then orders have been arriving um, and they're quite large orders because alongside the hodgepodge kit there are kits of um, packs of yarn that people can choose to make the hodgepodge blanket in either to recreate it in its original colorway and I've made another colorway I've just got to finish the edging on that so I'm not going to show you those yet I'll, I'll show you those another time so there's two lots of yarn kits well obviously I can't just take two yarn kits so I have the yarn downstairs ready to pack into the kits but there are 11 balls of yarn in these kits so you don't know how many I've ordered of them. There's quite a few and there's bags that they're going to go into. All the different elements of the Terry kit will be made up today. We've already, I think Julie and I made over 100 up on Wednesday. We've got another few hundred to go ready for the show. Oh, it's, there's just stuff everywhere. I have, I mean, even my, my shelves aren't tidy right now either. And normally they're a lot neater than that, aren't they? I've got more got brown everywhere because of reindeers and gingerbread and everything else so Emily Emily's been a very good girl she's been keeping out of my way and sitting in her other bed and all this kind of stuff while I run around the house trying to do things so I think he's going to be in for a bit of a shock on Monday when he sees how much of the house I've taken over my neighbor down the road has offered me to store some of the stuff before the show she's coming to help me at the show so if you come down you'll get to meet the lovely Tracy um, she lives up the road from me. She's got a room that's currently empty. So I'm going to be able to put some boxes in there while we pack up the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. I have been working very, very long days. I've not really been around. So I have had to kind of disappear a little bit and not been on social media very much. Obviously not been on here very much. And I miss kind of just chatting. If you're on my email list, you will have seen from my email on Tuesday I launched the Autumn Poppy Beanie, which I absolutely love. It's so beautiful um, as part of the Autumn Poppy Crochet Along with High Desert Yarn. And I think my email was just me rambling, just rambling about the beauty of that pattern because it is really nice and it works up so well because there's so much. Someone commented on Instagram the other day that there's just like no ends to weave in. It's just you have your two ends to start. Well, four, four ends to begin, four ends to finish, and that's it everything's done so that's why I love that pattern anyway let's talk about the giveaway so the giveaway is going to be running over on my Instagram I will pop a link hopefully in the top right hand corner here I can add it here when it publishes and I'll pop it in the description box below and that will take you directly to the post the T's and C's of course are linked in the description box I always do terms and conditions they're available on my website uh, cozy rosy it'll just be the online rules Again, everything's linked in the description box. It's not affiliated with anybody, etc., etc. I will not ask for any card details, etc., etc. You know the warnings. Please be safe taking part in giveaways. However, this is the chance to win two pairs of tickets for the knitting and stitching show. You are going to be able to enter the show, have a good full day at the show, looking around everything. You can take your time and relax and enjoy. Hopefully, you're going to come over to my stand and say hello. And if you do, there may be a little prize waiting for you too. So I am very happy to be doing this giveaway. All you need to do is to comment Terry. Why not? We love him. He's cute. And actually, Terry is my all time favourite. Just another little flash of him there for you. So head on over to my Instagram. Of course, make sure that you are following my account. Um, comment the word Terry. You'll get a DM confirming your entry into the giveaway and an opportunity to follow me again. I'll be doing a live draw over on Instagram on the 27th of September. So that's a week today, 2024, of course, in case you're watching this on catch up. I was about to say it's not like this is TV. Um, so if you're watching this on like a little bit later than then, apologies, you've probably missed the competition. But if it's before the 27th, you need to have entered by 9am UK GMT. No, BST, we're still on British summertime by 9am on Tuesday by 9am on Friday, the 27th of September, and I'll be doing the prize draw live at 1pm, I'm writing that down so I remember, on that day when I've gathered all the entries and then I can give away those two pairs of tickets. 
if you are watching this later than that date but it's still ahead of the show i also have a discount code where you can purchase your tickets with two pounds off which is all linked below look for ticket discount code and i'll pop that in the description box for you as well now finally i don't know if i've mentioned it because oh, my brain is scattered with everything i've got to do but it's so nice just to chill out and chat to you in case you can't make the show it's just not near you or anything like that please don't worry there is currently a pre-sale open on some of the products that are going to be available on my stand at the knitting and stitching show and they are the show prices i'm sharing those with you everything's discounted by two pounds on the pre-sale if you're in the uk shipping will be free as well so and that's only up until the first day of the show i may extend that if i can depends but you need to buy two products to get free shipping so i think i've covered everything I'm hoping I'm not giving away how muddled my brain is, but it is what it is. We're still going. So I've got up until, I'm just looking at my calendar behind you, until about Monday the 7th, I go down on the Wednesday, but I've got to pick up vans, take Emily to my mum's, etc. Uh, I have that. I mean, my end date was actually, like for me to be ready was going to be the 23rd of September, which is Monday. Not going to happen right now, but we're nearly there. I feel so close to being organised and getting ready but there is still all the lovely little bits left to do. I'm really excited to share more of my stand with you. I've taken time to work with a local artist who I work with. Her name is Abby Price, Artie Abby, and she's drawn me something that is going to be quite a show-stopping area of my stand as well. I'm really excited to share even more of this with you i wanted to share more of the process i have got a couple of videos of me packing kits and things like that and there'll be more of those as time goes on but at the moment this is all i've got we've got stuff to do i'm still doing it october is a really busy month anyway let alone before the knitting and stitching show i'm in another collaborative event which is beginning on the 1st of october i'll be sharing details to my newsletter subscribers I think probably next week, as early as next week, so we can get you set up ready for that next collaborative event. The Autumn Poppy Crochet Along is still ongoing. We've got another pattern releasing by High Desert Yarn on Tuesday, the 24th of September. I keep having to check my diary. I don't know what's happening. And then there's something else in October. Oh, yes, I've got... Oh, no, is that coming out in November? I'm not sure when, but I have... Oh, no, what else have I got? There's just There's just a lot going on right now. So my main focus, unfortunately, is still the, not unfortunately, because I'm loving every second of it, but it's still the knitting and stitching show just for a couple more weeks. And I really hope I'm going to get to meet as many people as possible on the 10th, 11th, 12th or 13th of October. I will be on my stand pretty much the whole time. I am hosting two workshops. So if you have had a look at the workshops and you haven't decided what you want to do, there's two of my workshops there for you to choose from as well. I think that's everything. I feel like I've not talked about anything but everything all at the same time. I'm at that point where the exhaustion is just like biting at the back of my head. And all I keep thinking about is I can't believe this is happening. And just pure like gratitude for everything. Gratitude for the opportunity to do this. The gratitude for pushing myself to do this. I've just spotted a bruise. So I've obviously hit myself at some point. Um, just, I've just, um, I'm exhausted but happy if that makes sense and I'm really excited I think the opportunity of meeting people I love like in real life is like a whole different ball game I can talk about yarn all day long every day and I'm grateful for my job where I get to do that part-time as well but it's just it's just a lot right now so I am currently mellowed in the madness is or is the best way of describing it and I'm so excited to have you part of it do let me know in the comments if you're going to be coming along to the show or if you haven't been but you'd love to don't forget there's also Harrogate for the north of England and if you're in the US you tell me where I need to go next year because I would love to go overseas and take my products and myself overseas to share all of this stuff too Thank you so much for joining me today and for letting me ramble. I'm hoping I will see as many of you as possible in October. If not, I will see you live on Instagram for at one o'clock on the 27th. That's GM, no, oh, BST, British Summertime for the giveaway. Head over to the Instagram now so that you can enter that giveaway to win one of two pairs of tickets for the Knitting and Stitching Show in London. And I will see you in the next video.